Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, wanted to do a quick video here uh, explaining some of the training aids that I've gone through uh, as I've tried to progress my game. Uh, some of the good ones, some of the bad ones, uh, give you a little price analysis and uh, give you some suggestions on what you might want to buy uh, when you're trying to improve certain aspects of your swing. So first we're going to start off here with alignment sticks. These are super critical. Uh, everybody uses them, pros, uh, most of the coaches that you see here on YouTube. Uh, they're super cheap. You can get them off Amazon for, you know, 10 bucks. Uh, highly recommend them. Uh, you can get a set of three, which I prefer uh, to get because you can stack them any way you want. Um, you can do a bunch of different things with them. You can stick them in the ground if you like, so on and so forth. It really helps with your alignment, uh, which is obviously super critical in the game of golf. Um, you can also do a couple other tricks uh, with them and whatnot. So price-wise, alignment sticks, super cheap. Definitely very effective, highly recommend. So if you're having some uh, connection issues with your swing, uh, this one in particular is super helpful for me because it's one of the issues I have. Uh, you can get one of these elastic armbands. Uh, they're also pretty cheap. You can get them 15, 20 bucks. Uh, strap them on your arms, uh, like so. A little awkward to get into, but it kind of helps you keep your arms locked together, one unit. <laughs> So if you got a chicken wing like I do, this thing is super helpful for that. Uh, very effective for sure. Grab a club here. Sometimes you feel like you're in a straight jacket with this thing. <laughs> Take a little swing. And yeah, connection station right there. Okay, we got another uh, one similar along the lines. This is also uh, for alignment with your elbows and whatnot, keeping that one unit structure. Um, this is an impact ball. Uh, Price-wise, they're not too bad. I mean, the foam ball, uh, of course, all golf training aids are a little overpriced for what they actually are. I mean, this is, could be a dog toy if you wanted, um, but it is really good. Uh, kind of doing the same thing, keeping those structures together. Uh, I've gotten one of these before uh, that was an inflatable ball, actually, and had a lanyard. It's a little bit more convenient when you have a lanyard. Uh, you'll see why, like if I was to have a club here, and if I was to take a practice swing or whatnot, I kind of have to get myself in there, get the ball positioned a little bit, and then do my practice. So it's a little, it's a little tough. Um, but like I said, it is a very good training aid. Uh, I definitely recommend this as well if you're having issues with keeping uh, your unit together with your arms and whatnot. So impact ball. All right, guys, so the next one, uh, this is an arm brace. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive than some of the other training aids out there. Um, I have an issue with keeping my left arm straight. I actually overswing, and then it causes my left arm to break a little bit. Uh, this helps you get the feel of keeping that arm straight, obviously. Um, you strap it in like this. Once again, kind of uh, like the orange band. Feel like you're a little bit in a straight jacket here, but it gives you good form. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, I can't. If I wanted to really bend it, you know, that's as far as I could bend it right there. So really keeps you uh, within your swing. Uh, like I said, for people with over swings like I do, uh, this will stop you from doing that. So uh, once again, highly recommend this one too. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive, so. Uh, if you feel like it's worth it to you, I would definitely uh, give it a go. All right, guys, next one we have here. Um, this is one of these arm lock face control swing trainers. Um, this is going to really help people who have issues with face control. Uh, obviously, you can see here, uh, it's got the little plastic bit showing you kind of where your club face is. So if you're hitting with an open face, you're getting pushes, uh, or you're closing it down too much and you're getting pulls, uh, this will probably help you. It really helps with your wrist and your forearm movement, right? So you want to kind of keep that pressure up against your forearm and that will make sure that um, you're not getting any cupping of your wrist and so on and so forth. Uh, it's a pretty good uh, trainer. I used it uh, initially when I first got it. Um, I haven't used it much since because I don't have too much issue with face control. Um, but if you do, definitely would recommend. In terms of price, it's a little bit, I'd say it's kind of middle of the road in terms of golf trainers um, for pricing wise. But yeah, once again, 
base control issues, check this one out. All right, so next one here, we got um, one of these form trainers. Uh, it can break down and it adjusts. So, you know, if you're taller, it gets a little bit longer, shorter, so on and so forth. Um, this is really also uh, helping with overswinging. Once again, my main fault. Uh, kind of gets you right into that position that you need to be. Uh, you know, at the top of the backswing here, moving into the transition. So it's very good if you're having breakdown issues, uh, kind of along the lines of um, with the orange band and whatnot. Uh, it also is nice because if you're having grip issues, it's got a little form fit grip. Uh, will kind of get you into a neutral grip if you're having issues with grip. So it's kind of a two-in-one with that. Uh, once again, if you're having the structural issues, um, this is a good thing to practice. Uh, you come out here, kind of do a little few warm-ups. Um, it's a nice way to kind of get that feel, right? And I mean, you can have this in your office, you can have it in your car, you can use it wherever you need to. It's really small um, and versatile. So you can do it in your hotel room. I'm about to go to Chicago tomorrow, pack this in my suitcase if I wanted to and get some practice ones. All right, guys, so next one we got here is a wedge block. Um, this training aid is meant to uh, help people who are having uh, issues transitioning their weight uh, to the front foot. Uh, once again, that's a problem that I experienced quite a bit, so I wanted to check one of these things out. Um, you know, I've had mixed reviews on it, to be honest. Um, basically, you're going to situate it right there, and you're going to get your back foot on there. It's going to put that weight kind of on the inside of your back foot. Um, and it's supposed to help you transition uh, weight. Uh, I haven't used it as much as I probably should be using it uh, because I do have that issue. Uh, so mixed results on it uh, could help some people at least get the feel uh, for how to transition the weight. It's pretty cheap though, so it's not a big investment. I, you know, five or ten bucks and it could help, could be the thing that helps you get your swing all together. So um, not sure if I would 100% recommend this as the best one out there, but worth a try. All right, next up we have the divot board. Um, you've probably seen, if you're into golf, you've probably seen this on Instagram a few different times. Uh, it's basically an artificial simulation, ensuring that your divot is good. Uh, you've been golfing a little bit, you know, the divot kind of tells the story of how your swing actually went. Uh, you know, so you can do all this with the fish scales here. Um, it's a really good idea. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, they're not terribly expensive. They might be a little on the upper side of golf trainers in terms of price. Um, the only downside I would say about it is that it's hard to use on a mat, like for me here. If I were to place it here, try taking a swing here, um, there's nothing to really lock it into place. Uh, so you'll see it's going to move quite a bit here. Um, so go on to my swing. See, it just flew off the mat. So there's nothing really to lock it down uh, as much as you would want. So, like, I mean, that was that was my divot, and really, that's because the whole thing collapsed on me. Um, so it's really meant to be used on grass. Uh, obviously, you have a little hole here. You put a T in there, it kind of locks it in a place so that you don't get that kind of crumbling of it. Uh, but it is a good idea. Uh, the thing is, like, though, if you're on grass, like, you can just look at the divots themselves. You don't really need this, so... Um, might be somebody who has an idea on how to like really get it placed in and locked in on a mat so that doesn't happen. If there is, then this would be a great thing because uh, obviously mats don't give you that kind of feedback with the divots and whatnot. So uh, if you can find a way to do it, highly recommend. If not, eh. all right, guys. So we're going into the tempo trainers. Uh, this is the first one I have here. Um, it is a weighted skills tempo trainer. Um, it does have the cool um, grips here. So once again, if you're having issues with grips uh, and gripping the club, this will help you do that. Uh, it is compact, pretty short. Um, it is heavy. <laughs> feels like a club, but in terms of its size, you can keep it in your car, do whatever you need to do with it. Um, you know, I did like it. Uh, it does kind of give you a good feel of where you need to be and, and whatnot, but... Um, and I guess it's supposed to strengthen you as well. Um, if you need something more compact than like a whip, uh, this is a pretty good starting place. Uh, in terms of price, I think it is on the upper portion of the prices for golf trainers, but um, still it's not too incredibly expensive. Something to give it a shot. Uh, once again, you can keep it in your office, 
I don't think you can bring it on a plane, but um, yeah, skills tempo trainer. All right, guys, so next one, uh, or next two, I should say, are the uh, basically the lag shots. Uh, these are tempo trainers, strength trainers. Uh, these are really good products. Um, I think I got one of the off-branded ones. Uh, this is for your, like, your drivers and your woods here. Uh, you can get them in different weights uh, for if you, you know if you're a woman and you needed a lighter weighted one, you can get that. Uh, these are really good for not only strength training but also tempo training. Uh, you can really feel it load um, and that flex in the back and then go. Um, and it will make you stronger. You will feel the core muscles working this because it's so heavy. Um, this one's for driver. Uh, and you can also get iron ones, uh, which I need to use this one more because my tempo with iron game is really off right now. But um, this one's a little bit lighter and so on and so forth. You can take shots with this. You can take real shots with a golf ball um, and test it out. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive. They're probably on the highest lens, especially if you go with like the actual lag shots. Um, they're really expensive, too expensive in my opinion, but you know, to his their own, uh, but definitely recommend getting some of these because these things uh, have helped quite a bit. In fact, that thing changed my driver swing completely uh, for the better. I mean, I used to not be able to hit a driver barely at all, and now I'm 80% accuracy on driver, so definitely recommend. The one I wanted to go through here uh, are these little flight balls. Uh, they come in a pack of like 20 or so. If you're having issues with thinning the ball, uh, grab a pack of these. Uh, you will probably need a mat in order to use them, uh, but you could do them off your carpet too if you wanted to. Uh, they're super they're flexible as you can see, so they don't damage anything, which is nice. Um, basically what you do is you lay it flat on the ground like that. And then you just swing. You swing at it like it's a ball. Um, what it will help you do is it helps you stay low uh, and get that contact that you're looking for. So the last uh, training aid, if you will, uh, is of course the setup. So if you have the space to get yourself a practice net and a practice mat, uh, highly recommend it. I mean, I think it was Arnold Palmer who said, if you want to get better at golf, you got to hit the golf ball like 100 times a day. Uh, I don't do that, uh, but I do try to at least get like 20, 25 swings in a day. It's super easy when I can walk out in my backyard and give it a whack. Um, this is a really good mat. You want to make sure you get a nice thick mat. Uh, I think this is an inch or two inches thick uh, so you don't hurt yourself. Um, I think it was like 100, 150 bucks to do that. Uh, all right, guys. So that's all the training aids that I've used in the past. Uh, I'm, once again, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies or whatnot, so I'm just giving you honest feedback on what I've used and found useful. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like uh, or subscribe. I'll have a lot more content like this coming out. Uh, hope we helped you guys out a little bit, and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks.